Dean died last night. There was a man in a suit handing out cigarettes at his funeral. I walked up to him and asked him, don't you think that's a bit rude? But he replied, Look, it's business as usual. Your friend Dean's made our industry about 4K. You would assume that he was an assassin, sniper, or mercenary. But when he handed me his card, it read recruitment executive for the tobacco industry. We're looking for new recruits, 100,000 each year to replace the ones we lose, like your friend Dan here. Dan, you mean Dean? Diane, Dean, it's all the same to me. What about the lives you destroy and the families you ruin? He said, listen. People make their own choices. We all know that smoking kills. Every seat they roll could potentially be another line on their will. Could someone really be this impassive? Did my man think that his indifference made him innocent? I mean, he may not be in the finger pulling the trigger, but he was deaf on the arms dealer, providing the weapons that was costing our society. Look at the NHS, the lack of beds, the rising cost of waiting lists. He was providing the smoke that had the whole nation coughing up annually. I stood there in the cemetery, swearing on my dead friend's memory. He nonchalantly turned to offer me a cigarette. The smirk on his face told the story of a man who couldn't care less. I said, Wait till you see my team. I'm about to recruit an entire generation who won't end up like Dean. Check the link, sign the petition, let's make the tobacco industry pay.